English listening and speaking practice. The Wife Carrying Championship in Finland. Hi Patricia, did you know that there's an event in Finland where men carry their wives and compete in a race? Hello John, that sounds fascinating. What is this event called? It's called the Wife Carrying Championship. It's a fun and unusual sport that has become very popular in Finland. That's really interesting. What does the race involve? Well, as the name suggests, men carry their wives or partners on their backs and race against other couples. The race isn't just on flat ground, though. There are obstacles and even a water pit. That sounds challenging. How are the winners determined? The couple that completes the course in the shortest time is declared the winner. But there are also prizes for the most entertaining couple, the best costume, and even the strongest carrier. That's very amusing. Do the women have to be a certain weight? Yes, there's a minimum weight requirement. If a woman weighs less than 49 kilograms, she has to carry a rucksack with additional weight to meet the requirement. It sounds like a fun event, but also a test of strength and endurance. How did this championship come about? The Wife Carrying Championship is based on a 19th century Finnish legend. It's said that a local strongman named Herko Rasvarankainen trained his thieves by carrying sacks of grain or live pigs over a similar course. That's quite a story. It must be a great event to witness. Absolutely. It's not just about the sport, though. It's also a celebration of Finnish culture and a great opportunity for people from all over the world to come together and have fun. I'd love to see it someday. Thanks for sharing this, John. It's always nice to learn about different cultures and their unique traditions. I'm glad you found it interesting, Patricia. If you ever have the chance to visit Finland, make sure to check out the Wife Carrying Championship. I definitely will. John. It's been great talking to you. Have a nice day. English listening and speaking practice. Discovering the Tunarama. Festival in Australia. Hi Emma, I was reading about some unique festivals around the world, and I came across the Tunarama Festival in Australia. Have you heard about it? Hello Louis, yes, I have. It's a pretty interesting festival. It's held in Port Lincoln, South Australia, every January during the Australia Day long weekend. Australia Day? What's that? Australia Day, celebrated on January 26, is the official national day of Australia. It marks the arrival of the first fleet of British ships at Port Jackson, New South Wales in 1788. Interesting. Now, back to the Tunarama Festival. Why is it called that? Does it have something to do with tuna? Yes, it does. The name Tunarama is a combination of tuna and panorama. Port Lincoln is known as the seafood capital of Australia, and the festival celebrates the city's fishing and aquaculture industries, particularly its tuna industry. That's quite unique. What happens at this festival? It's a fun-filled event for both locals and tourists. There are street parades, concerts, fireworks, and a fair. But the highlight of the festival is the World Championship Tuna Toss competition. Tuna Toss. What's that? The Tuna Toss is where competitors throw a frozen tuna as far as they can. It was originally a way for the dock workers to pass the fish onto the processing area. Now, it's a competition and a major attraction at the festival. Throwing a frozen tuna? That sounds quite challenging. It certainly can be. The tuna can weigh around 8 to 10 kilos. It's not just about strength, but also about technique. It sounds like a lot of fun. I'd love to experience this festival one day. It's definitely a unique experience, Louis.
The festival also showcases local food and wine, arts and crafts, and provides family-friendly entertainment. It's a great way to explore the local culture and community spirit of Port Lincoln. Thanks for sharing, Emma. I'm adding the Tunarama Festival to my travel bucket list. I'm sure you'll love it, Louis. Let me know if you want to know more about Australian festivals or any other topic. I'd be happy to help. I certainly will, Emma. Thanks again. You're welcome, Louis. Have a great day. English Listening and Speaking Practice Discovering the Radish Night Festival in Mexico Hi Emma, have you ever heard of the Radish Night Festival in Mexico? Hello Louis, no, I haven't. What is it? It's called Noche de los Rabanos, in Spanish, and it is celebrated every year in Oaxaca, a city in Mexico. Oh, that sounds interesting. What exactly do they do in this festival? People carve intricate and beautiful scenes into radishes, which are then displayed in the town square. It's a very popular event and draws a lot of tourists. Really? They carve radishes? That's so unusual. Why radishes? Yes, it's certainly unique. The tradition goes back to the 19th century when farmers began carving radishes to attract customers to their market stalls. Over time, it evolved into this wonderful festival. That's a fun way to attract customers. What kind of scenes do they carve? They carve all kinds of scenes. Many depict traditional Mexican folklore or historical events. Some even create nativity scenes since the festival takes place close to Christmas. I can't imagine how they carve such detailed scenes into radishes. They must be very skilled. Absolutely, it's considered an art form. And these are not your typical radishes. They're specially grown to be larger and harder, which makes them suitable for carving. That makes sense. How do they celebrate this festival apart from the radish carvings? There are parades, music, dances, and of course, lots of delicious Mexican food. It's a real celebration of local culture. It sounds like such a lively and colorful event. I'd love to experience it one day. You should, Emma. It's an unforgettable experience. The festival is not just about the radishes. It's a celebration of creativity, tradition, and community. I'll definitely add it to my bucket list. Thanks for telling me about it, Louis. You're welcome, Emma. I'm sure you'll enjoy it if you ever get the chance to go. I hope so. I've always wanted to visit Mexico, and now I have another reason to go. That's great to hear, Emma. And remember, the Radish Night Festival is just one of the many beautiful traditions in Mexico. There's so much more to explore. I can't wait, Louis. Thanks again for sharing this with me. Anytime, Emma. Enjoy planning your future trip. I will, Louis. Take care. You too, Emma. Have a great day.